The Lord has been giving me this message for the last few weeks here, and the revelation just finally came to me. God is stating that he wants all of us to come to unity, to be mature in the body of Christ. And he talks about this in Ephesians 4, but he wanted me to highlight Ephesians 4, 15. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. The part that a lot of people miss is speaking the truth in love. The truth without love is brutal. It's very brutal. But the truth in love is edifying. And it builds up the body. It builds up all the parts of the body. So when we go to resolve situations with enemies or loved ones, we have to go in truth and in love. The greatest of all these things is love. According to John 4, 15 through 19, where he was speaking to the Samaritan woman. And as we know, at this time, these people were maybe considered even enemies to God. Um, it says, please, sir, the woman said, give me this water. Then I'll never be thirsty again. And I won't have to come here to get water. Go and get your husband, Jesus told her. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus said, you're right. You don't have a husband. For you have had five husbands, and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now. You certainly spoke the truth, sir, the woman said. You must be a prophet. Now, this woman, at this point, could have been considered an enemy to God. And God was telling her, if you knew who I was, you would have asked me for living water. And he proceeded to tell her the truth in love because he is love. And it blessed her. According to Romans 12, 19 through 21. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, Give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. As we know, the word of God is more than the words that he speaks. A lot of times, these things refer to the spirits. When he is stating, give them something to drink. Feed them. Hallelujah. We all know that Christ wants to give us living water. We also know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Some of the very battles or the enemies that you have encountered it's not just about overcoming them. It's about the truth that God wants to reveal through them. The revelation he wants to provide you in order for you in love to give it to them. So when he's telling you to give your enemy something to drink, to feed them. Again, we go back to Ephesians 4.15. He wants you to speak the truth in love to them, to equip them, to build them up so that we come into unity and maturity in the spirit, unity in the body of Christ. So what do I mean by this? You have to be fully surrendered to God in order to come and deliver truth to your enemies in love. Because the truth that you deliver through Christ will set them free. And I'm going to repeat this. The truth without love is brutal. 
If you do not walk in the love of Christ, it is not for you to deliver that truth to them. God says we will speak the truth in love to build up the body, to equip it. This is why God wants you to move past forgiveness and receive revelation and truth. Because everything we go through is more than what it appears to be. It's wisdom in it. There's truth behind it all. Because God gave you the revelation that they need to hear to be set free. So that they will never thirst again. So that they can be fed. God wants you to feed your enemies. So then that way you will heap burning coals on that enemy's head. You will deliver the truth in love because love covers a multitude of sins. And God says, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. It is not for you to deliver the truth unless you are delivering the truth in love. Through Jesus Christ. Because that's the only way. That they will be set free. The revelation that God gives you. The grace that God gives you. For that enemy. Is the truth. That you need to reveal to them. In order to set them free. Because he's given us all. These positions. And these gifts. To be used to build up the body in unity. And just like when he told this woman at the well who was who could have been considered an enemy to God. He told her, go get your husband. He knew she didn't have a husband. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus said, you're right. You don't have a husband. For you have had five husbands and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now. The truth without love is brutal. It doesn't equip. It doesn't build up the body. But the truth delivered in love through Jesus Christ sets people free. It is for you to feed your enemies. It is for you to give them something to drink. And what do you give them? You lead them to live in water. You lead them to the word of God to equip them and to build them up not to tear them down because God wants us all to know the truth but only truth that is revealed through love and the truth will set us free in Jesus name Amen